it gives me very much pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, to meet you almost in person. Most of you probably know me as a villain, with very little scruples in regard to ladies. May I therefore redeem myself in your eyes by trying to give you a very brief impression of an exceedingly nervous man suddenly called upon to propose a toast to the ladies. I want you to imagine there's a dinner party here in progress, and I'm suddenly called upon, in the absence of a very brilliant speaker, to propose a toast. There's a very charming girl sitting here to whom I am talking when I'm interrupted by the chairman at the other end of the table. <laughs> yes, yes, I know awfully well. <laughs> Awfully well. They live close to our place of home. <laughs> yes. Yes, the old place. <laughs> Who do you know, too? <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> very funny, indeed. <laughs> what? What, old man? What? what? Oh, no. No, no. I, I can't make a speech. I, I, I never made a speech in my life. It, uh, it makes me absolutely hot all over the uh, very idea of uh, making a speech. Uh, Johnson's a capital hand at making a speech. I... Oh, uh, <laughs> well, of course, if you if you must have it, but I uh, I tell you, uh, 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 ladies and <laughs> no, 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 of course not, no, no, uh, gentlemen, I. Uh, unaccustomed as I am to uh, public, uh, how? Uh, <laughs> oh no, 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 no! Of course not. I'm uh, speaking. I uh, trust you will pardon any uh, seeming difficulty I may have in uh, uh, meaning what I uh, <laughs> saying. What I uh, what, what I what I mean to say is that I don't always. I mean to say that when I say what I... Uh, oh, it's no good, old man, it's no good. I, I simply can't make a speech that's all there is to it. I, I can't do it. It's no good rapping the table either, you fellows. I, I mean, you're absolutely uh, trying to make an arse of me. Uh, uh, ladies, that... Uh, gentlemen, I have been asked to propose a toast to the ladies. The ladies. <laughs> it is a, a very excellent institution. And on behalf of myself, I can only say I don't consider they are half as bad as they're made out to be. In fact, I may say I think they are very nearly as good as we are. As Shakespeare says, uh, uh, Shakespeare says, uh, uh, no man who, no, <laughs> no, 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 no woman, yes, uh, that's it, uh, no, uh, the, the immortal bard, uh, I said, old chap, what did he say? <laughs> of course, as I was about to remark, as Shakespeare so feelingly puts it, we won't go home till... He never said anything of the kind. I, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I have very much pleasure in uh, uh, thanking you all for the uh, exceedingly kind way in which you have drunk my health. It may be, it may be, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, some of you, or perhaps I may say most of you, know me best with whiskers on my face. If you'll allow me to leave the stage for a few seconds to make a change of costume, I will try and give you a very brief sketch of a character that I played some time ago on the stage, that of Fagin in the death cell, waiting execution from Dickens' book, Oliver Twist. Yet. <laughs> There's someone coming. There's 
someone coming. <laughs> hey, little Oliver, come here. Come here, my dear. Tell the magistrate. Tell him I'm an old, old man. He'll believe you with your baby face and your nice girl. Tell him, tell him it's dear old Mr. Fagin that never did you any harm. <laughs> There's <laughs> someone else. There's someone coming. It's Bill. It's Bill. Uh, I'm afraid of Bill. Don't let him come near me. Don't let him come near me. <coughs> I'm afraid. I won't stand by you. Go away from me. I'm afraid of you. I'm afraid. <laughs> Someone coming. It's the reprieve. The reprieve. I knew it had come. I knew it had Thank <laughs> you. 